Hey everyone, I'm Robert, and in today's video, I'm going to share a little bit of information with you about this. This is a Purple Majesty potato from Contentment. Potatoes! <laughs> Potatoes! <laughs> is the second largest potato growing region in the United States. The, the number of days of sunlight, the altitude, the cool evening temperatures, and the loose soil are really a potato grower's dream. Ichip and I recently went on a potato production tour. We're going to a potato festival. Potatoes! And we get to go to a potato field and see how they like dig them up and all that kind of stuff and I'm hoping that they let like people do it because I want to and maybe they'll give us a bag of potatoes to bring home. We're gonna go to the field they're gonna tell us all about how potatoes are grown. I'm so excited. Yeah! And I think we get a free baked potato today. Yeah they have baked potatoes. Yeah free ones. It's gonna be interesting to see what a potato festival is like mostly for little kids. Has the water conservation destroyed the aquifer or is it coming back? I mean, I mean, is it capping the aquifer or, or has it been destroyed? It just depends on who you talk to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, Hydrology is here is too hard to explain in two minutes, but we actually have two aquifers. We have a real deep aquifer and we have a shallow aquifer. In this part of the valley they're pumping out of the shallower aquifer and they've been monitoring this over time for probably for 40 to 50 years. And it, there, we actually have a sustainability plan. Dig yes. it down in there and we'll see what we find. Oh, there you go. I it's tore it up. Be careful with the shovel, cause uh, yeah. well, you might get some, but how many? There. I guess you get like one plant. Also, let's see what's down in here. Let's see. Yellow, purple. It's um. So it was. It's a purple and white flesh. Purple white skin. Sorry, okay. purple white skin yellow flesh. So does that mean that when you cook these it's going to turn, when you add the sour cream it'll turn the other color? or is No, that they should be yellow color? when you cut them over. Yes, it's a little rusty. Hold that. Let me put this back on my back. Look, there's a little baby one. Is that a little bitty bitty baby yeah, one? Yeah, there are a couple small ones here. That's a yellow Okay. I'll take the potato. Go ahead, Greg. Now you can do a little more. You got the here, you guys can look hmm? These are big ones. These are big potatoes. I love the soil. I know. Isn't it nice? Yeah. 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 Well, it's great. It shifts perfectly for potatoes, though. Those are sort of a smooth. There's one. A smooth ground? A smooth soil? A smooth skin. There's a little one. Those are little dudes. That's good. You did a good job. Good <laughs> potato harvest. Yay, thank good you. potato harvest each year. Yes, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> have large talons. I like talking to the post-harvest physiologist who was talking about the best so. way to store them and keep them. One thing I was really surprised me, mentioned potatoes are best kept at 95% humidity and that's practically rain. So that sounds pretty uh, moisture intensive, a lot of water to have to keep a mist basically floating around in the air, yet you have to keep the air circulating. Here we have a potato harvester, punnily named Spudnik. 
or wittily named Spudnik. Spudnik. Mm. On the back of a big old John Deere. That's fine. What? Yes? <laughs> so in the field, we'll have potatoes about this big. Go about. And it's all carried onto that machine, and that machine, what it does is it separates it. Not 100%, but it does it does really good. The size of the machine that we have does a very good job for us. We're able to unload a truck in about five to 10 minutes on average. So as you can imagine, we're unloading multiple trucks at once because I told you it does take about an average about two, between a minute to two minutes to load a truck in the field. We run about a dozen trucks. So we have to put a person in each truck rotating all day long so that so we can get some work done. So it takes a big crew. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> so here is a potato storage facility. It's really cool in here. They gotta keep it damp. It's a big old pile of potatoes back there. Here's a sample bag of the size of potatoes. The grower said he gets them as big as 12 inches. I was able to learn a lot and have I have a much deeper respect for people who grow potatoes and I learned about the work required to produce a quality potato and I learned about seedling little seedling potatoes I learned a lot of really new and interesting things the first stop was at a Colorado State University extension um, research facility they do studies on potato breeding. They study potato growth. That study includes soil amendment, disease control, plant pathology. There are between 50 and 55,000 acres of potatoes. Most of the potatoes produced in the valley are for fresh market resources, schools, grocery stores, and other places like that, restaurants. There are 120 varieties of potatoes grown in the valley. And I did not know, but this lovely little purple thing here is to die for. Um, this is called a purple majesty potato. Purple majesty is actually more antioxidant rich and it's actually better for you to eat than most other varieties. However, it's not very popular because if you were to make mashed potatoes out of these, guess what? They're gonna turn purple or pink. So people don't really like eating these kinds of potatoes like they would a russet or something else. Farmers and researchers in Colorado are working together to grow crops more efficiently using less water. How important it is to maintain that gigantic aquifer that's underneath the valley there. The potato committee representative shied away from putting a political slant on his opinion about what was going on with the water and stuff. He was not going to comment on whether global warming is causing the declining aquifer levels. He did acknowledge that it has been getting drier and warmer and there is less snow in the winter resulting in less snow melt to replenish the aquifer underground. Farmers have agreed to pay more money for water to incentivize people, to encourage people to take some of their land out of production to reduce the amount of water that they're using. Another thing that they're doing is they're trying to grow different crops and a relatively new crop they're growing is quino or quinoa. And there is a quinoa field very, very close to contentment. We could actually walk there. And Ichip and I had the opportunity to meet the farmer who owns that particular land. And he told us that there is a very, very big effort with these growers to reduce the water consumption. And Quino does use less water. What's kind of interesting on this tour, I learned that quinoa actually is a weed <laughs> from Peru. The farmer did tell us it is still cheaper to import quinoa instead of growing it here, but they really want to expand out to try to find more crops that are better suited for less water consumption. I learned that it takes four years to develop a new potato breed. And they start out with seedlings. And I learned 
that seedlings are not potato eyes. Because if you've grown potatoes, you know that you go get seed potatoes or you can cut eyes off of potatoes and plant those. They actually, it's kind of like, it's kind of like what came first, the potato plant or the potato? They actually start little plants and those plants develop little bitty baby potatoes. They have a machine that basically serves as a seed drill. If you're familiar with that, a seed drill just pokes a hole in the ground, you drop your seed in and then, or covers it back up. So they have a similar type of big machine that does the same thing for potatoes. Drops one of those little bitty baby potatoes in there and then it grows. In the valley, there's roughly a 90 day growing period. They have to chemically kill the tops of the potatoes to be able to harvest them before it starts to freeze. It, they're stored for nine months or so, maybe to a year. So the question still exists. What came first, the plant or the potato? Potato! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.